Hello everyone, this is Ray Space and welcome back to my TRAPPIST-1 stock parts career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have a probe in orbit around the Earth that's supposed to be headed to the Moon, but I saw this contract here to make orbit around the Moon. We might as well pick it up. I don't think we can make orbit this time, but just in case we can, we should pick it up and see. So I'm going to accept the contract. It doesn't have any expiry date and it doesn't actually say that we need to launch a new vessel. So uh, let's see if that is actually a condition. It doesn't seem that way. We have the ant engine liquid fuel test as well. We technically already fulfilled the flyby mission on the impact that we made with a previous probe, but uh, well, we want to get the science anyway. We especially want to get to 90 science, and we're going to try to do this with the delta probe and get into the moon's SOI. So we've got some delta V, 2600, that's a lot of delta V, but there's the probodobodine still, and I still can't plot anything. So we'll see. Now, 90 degrees away turned out to be not the right time. So I'm going to close that gap a little bit more because we ended up being a little bit late. Okay, let me try using shift to turn. Nope, I can't. Okay, so we do need comms. Pretty sure... Yeah, I didn't say require signal for control, but I have enabled comm network, so... Okay, well, I guess... Alright, we'll start here and try. Just pointing, prograde, and going. I mean, actually, we should have enough left over for capture. Ooh. Oh, oh, stop turning. Okay, well, that'll give us some time there. Okay, time warping up. Okay, we've picked up some... I mean, I think we've done all the science up here. Yeah, we'd have to recover to get more. Okay, well, we're ahead now, but that should be okay. We go a little bit past. So, come on, Moon. You can do it. You can get us. We're really close. Oh, come on. <laughs> How small is its SOI? Jeez. Really? I don't know about this. Feel like we should be in Moon SOI right now. Now we've crossed over. We're slower though. It seems to be faster. Okay, 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 we're in Moon SOI. Gosh, um, that's a longer line than you would think. Anyway, uh, so let's... I don't know if I should turn the orbit towards it or just try to capture. I don't know how much it takes to capture. But we're so low. I don't think I can do a radial burn to get closer. I think I just need to capture, so... Well, we have 1,087 and the surface velocity is 1,200. So I guess it's a good time. Where is it? So yeah, Moon SOI, really small. Another piece of information. Come on. Well, I don't know when to stop, actually. I mean, that's probably still outside. I'll wait until periapsis, though. We only have 76 left. Let's do the science now. Do I have enough to transmit that? Hold on. Uh, let's get the temperature first. I don't know if we have enough to transmit the barometer, actually. It doesn't say that we are orbiting. So that is not actually in orbit yet. 
Now we can barely see it. Now let me try to do a little bit more here. Is that in orbit? Okay, we are in orbit of the moon. Having achieved that, I'll try to do the barometer reading and transmit, but we might not have enough power. Okay, we do. Alright, so we got the sciences. This was entirely successful. In fact, we even got to orbit. So, good times. But, it is now dead. Hopefully it's the last time I need to use the Stay Putnik, though. Alright, back to Space Center. Got some money. Rescue! We can rescue Tompfen Kerman. Well, I do need more Kerbals. I don't know if Tompfen is going to be a pilot or not, though. So we have to go over there and come back. That's a good way to test uh, crew pod eventually. But now that we have 90, I want a good controller. So that's the Octo. And then solar panels as well. So definitely that. And it would be nice, well, 300,000 for patch conics. It would be nice to get patch conics, but at least I sort of know the angle I need to go to in order to get to the moon. So that's, that's the most important thing. The fact that it, it's not going to show me getting into Moonar SOI until way late is not great. So I would like to rescue Tomfin. And now we've got... A little probe core we can put on top of the pod to do it. Temperature surveys. Well, that's a little bit fancier, isn't it? Anyway, I think I'm going to try to rescue contract first. Now, what kind of orbit around Kerbin is Tompfen in? I can't see Tompfen's parameters. It's zooming in here. I can't actually see Tompfen's pod. Either. Apparently Tompfin's Tom pod is here. I can't see it. That's odd and troubling. So I can't see the height. I hope it's outside the atmosphere. We're going to try to add a probe core to this. This is maybe dangerous. Probe core, I mean, the battery life should be okay as long as we've got some solar panels. So we're going to put some solar panels. Delta V-wise, it shouldn't be a problem. Rendezvousing with Tomfin is going to be hard, especially if I can't see the probe. Okay. Delta NK for no Kerbal. <laughs> Alright, and uh, let's make sure there's no Kerbal. I probably should put an uh, additional comm device. Uh-oh, part count. Mm. Alright, we'll have one solar panel. They don't quite counterbalance each other, though. Okay, well, on the right side, there's no Kerbal at risk. We haven't discovered launch clamps yet. We know what happened with Jeb and this thing rocking around, so that's a worry. But okay, I, I don't know if we even need the comm device, though, technically. Let's see. 500k rating. I mean, the crew pod only has 5k, and the octo has 5k, so yeah, I guess it's probably better if we do. Alright, let's try and launch it and make sure that there's a blader and no mod propellant. Okay, well, it's gotta be tough doing the rendezvous though. Can we see Tom? Tom? Okay, uh, Tomfin's derelict, we can see at least. Okay, so that's good. Um, I better not wait. We are losing liquid charge right now. Our solar panel is shaded. <laughs> Figures. Okay, at least we're not rocking around though. Um, we'll probably let Tomfin catch up with us. We need to get into a higher orbit, I think. Alright. We have SAS. Throttle up. And... Launch. To the rescue. Okay, booster set. Uh, well, that's a problem. I mean, our apoapsis is not that high. It's like 74, 76. And we look to be above Tomfin's orbit. 
Oh, come on, it's supposed to at least put them outside the atmosphere. Right? I mean, we're 72 kilometers here and we are above the line for Tom Finn's orbit. It says 60 kilometers there, altitude. Uh, we, we're gonna need Tompkin to get out. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, staging. I mean, we probably can't switch to him until we get close, two kilometers away, which means 62 kilometers in altitude, where there is drag. Gonna roll to get some power, hopefully. There we go. Oop, don't want to go down though. Well, Thompson's going up now, 64 kilometers. Maybe over there it's like 70. One can hope. Then we'll have to meet up over there, wherever it's 70. We'll see. And make sure that the probe core automatically hibernates. Okay, we're obviously in a higher orbit, but the periapsis is just above 70 here. Now, we'll go, we're going to keep an eye on Tompkins' pod. Okay, above 70 there. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. It's higher than I thought. It looked like a pretty circular orbit, but it's tough to tell at the scale. 110, it seems like the per, uh, the apoapsis is open. not too far from our apoapsis. Okay, well we don't have comms right now. That's another problem. Okay, that's pushing it up over here, not exactly where I want it. Okay, well, let's roll there, get charge. Wow, 52, 51, 50, uh, I hope drag isn't happening, because Tompkins going to die pretty soon. Okay, I don't think drag is actually happening to Tompkins' derelict. That dessert launch site needs to really pull its weight, it's not communicating with us very well. Okay, I just need to get into a higher orbit, I can't wait. <laughs> It's taking too long. Okay, Tomfin is catching up now. But the comm issue is going to be a big problem. Tomfin seems to be higher than us over here. Okay, well, I'm going to pull the orbit down somewhat. Oh, we don't have comms. Well, like I said. Yeah, I wish the dessert land. Uh, launch site actually helped somewhat. I mean, we're getting closer. But will we get close enough is the question. Oh, that's too much dropping. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's the right thing to do. At least we're outside of the atmosphere. Maybe we can see him and target him. Uh, he's below us. Well, I don't even see a little box. Oh, there. Uh, no. Nope. Didn't see a box. Thought there was a way before, but maybe that was only in realism overhaul and not here. Well, he's gone further ahead. Well, I think we need to toss some commsats up. There's just no way to get to them like this. Probably we also need... Well, maybe I'll just leave us like this and make sure we're re recharging on the opposite side. Uh, commsats are one thing. And maybe the ability to target him at some point would be good too. But I think on this attempt I'm not able to get to him. All right, we're at least recharging, but I need some commsats. 
It's not fair putting them partly in the atmosphere. Nothing I can take advantage of. They never gave me one to just position a satellite in orbit of Kerbin. Just never did that. Go figure. Right. This one's a relay. So we need to put that one. And in stock, they like multiply and such. But it's a pretty long range. But while we're here, we might as well put two of these. We sort of need nose cones or something. Streamline this. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, part count. Well, but hopefully we won't have such a huge stage or something. All right, we've got the little reaction wheel in the probe core this time. We've got a little torque there. And abuse the ant finally. Two thousand four hundred and fifty three there. That's enough to make orbit and then some. But we'll need more than one comsat. Okay, we have enough parts so that I can put some just in case spins here. We have not gotten any fairings. You have the service bay, but no fairings. Okay, comsat. Just call it comsat. Okay. All right, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition and launch. And we go. I don't like doing comsats, but when you need to, you need to. We have a severe weak point with the ant there. We got totally ignore how stock does drag for the most part. I'm not thinking about that. Just for you to know. So whatever ant node thing is going on, the okay staging, staging. Come on terrier, no, no terrier. Come on, come on up there, up there, up there. Well, I guess this octo doesn't have hold prograde or retrograde or anything like that. Hmm, that might be trouble for our rescuee. If they're not a pilot coming back down, that's a problem. Well, I'm gonna try and go up a little bit more. We need to anyway. And I'm worried about when we lose line of sight with the with the KSC, whether we'll have comms. Okay, we're in space, I'll certainly extend these antennae. Once we're in orbit, it doesn't matter to me what orbit we're in right now. As long as we're high up. Okay, staging and ignition of the ant. Yeah, eventually we're not going to have comms here. I don't know what downrange comms we might have. I think, I mean, I'm definitely not going to thrall down with it. I don't care what orbit it's going to get into. So we can just keep it running. There seems to be weak links from those sats, but those aren't relay dishes. If we had put relay dishes on the ones around the moon, that would have been great. The burn time on this is long, 10 minutes. Well, better hibernate and warp while I can. It'd make me feel a lot better if we picked something up over here. But yeah, I don't know what sites there are over here. If there are any. I did say enable extra ground stations. And if we make a good periapsis, I'll cut. Oh, we've lost comms. Well, we'll just be burning. It's pointing prograde. And it will be in orbit. We'll just have to see where it ends up. Hopefully not on escape. I don't think it can get to escape like this, but... Shouldn't even be able to get to the moon right now. It'll get to a nice orbit though, I think. Okay, so it'll be an eccentric orbit, but it'll be in orbit. And still capable of helping. We'll have to launch other ones in complementary orbits. Okay, that's that.
Now I just want to make sure it gets charged. Well, there's one there. Okay, there we go. It's a little commsat. The antennas are not pointed towards Kerbin or anything, but it's a commsat. Okay, so let's get another one. All right, well, launching right now, our periapsis will be over here somewhere, which is a good distance from that one. So even though it's in the dark, I think I'll launch now and hope that we boost uh, apoapsis over on that end. Okay, so throttle up and launch. And probably our existing sat will be able to help. But I'll still sort of try to go the same trajectory. Okay, staging terrier. Oh, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Oh, you flip. Okay, okay, well, shucks. Back over here you go. Back over, back over. It happens. Terriers just aren't rated for this altitude. Okay, staging and the ant. Well, we haven't acquired that satellite yet. Do I feel like... well, I don't know. Our distance... We might not have inner communication with, sat with those satellites. Hmm. Because I think they have 5,000 kilometer range. Or at least... well, I mean, but they should combine. They're combinable. Uh, that diagonal is probably more than 10,000. But yeah, it depends. Well, we've just lost comms. We'll be fine. We'll get into the same sort of situation as we did with the other one, but we did lose comms. So this is in orbit, and it'll be a complementary orbit to that one, but whether they can talk to each other is the question. Right now, they're not. Okay, that's that. It ran out. Are we gonna get comms between these? Well, it's getting... Okay, well, they're both communicating to there, but they're not communicating with each other. Oh, now! That, that's a pretty short line. A very weak link between the two. So that's unfortunate. But we don't have any better antenna, so... We'll have to keep that in mind. They have to be pretty low to be able to help with the comms. Once they're up here, they really can't with the other missions, unless the other missions have a stronger antenna than this. But anyway, let's make sure... Well, it is recharging, but let's just put it into a more ideal position for that. Our fried egg of a sun. And there we are. Number two. I think we should do a third one. This periapsis is a little bit closer than I want. I want it... I want the apoapsis over here, so... Maybe more like that would be good. Okay. So, throttle up, SAS is on, and launch. Well, we know how this goes. I'll try and go steeper with this stage so that the terrier doesn't flip. Alright, getting through max Q here. And staging. Better. No flip this time. Okay, staging. Eek. Okay, we've lost comms. We should still make orbit. Well, can our crew rescue pod make use of these three at all? Or... Is its antenna too weak to communicate with these? That is the question. Now this one's going a bit higher up. Eh, not by too much. Still probably not within the moon's really really tiny SOI, so that's fine. Okay, we need comms so that I can reorient it. Uh, the fact that it lacks comms at all doesn't exactly bode well for this whole commsat thing. Okay. Yeah. The, I don't know where they put the extra ground stations, but those extra ground stations aren't great. <laughs> uh, 
We'll need better commsats pretty soon, but we need better techno comm technology. Right now, these are the best dishes we've got. So, well, with this setup, our first uh, satellite constellation, will that help our rescue attempt, which is currently right there? Well, I'll have to wait until next time in order to find out. So we'll leave that be a little bit of suspense. And for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.